hey, it's leg day and all you have access to is a cable crossover, that's all right because I'm gonna give you five exercises that you can use right now on this machine. Hey, what's happening? I'm Coach Brian Klopacki with CriticalBench.com. Hopefully you're having a great day. I'm having a great day because every day is a good day just because I said so. <laughs> so, but seriously, it, if it's leg day and you're stuck at the gym and it's completely crowded and you're, it's leg day but you don't know what to do and you, all you have access to is a cable cross machine, this cool contraption here, this is a free motion machine. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Or maybe you're, you're traveling and the hotel that you're staying at only ha has one of these machines, but you don't want to skip leg day. Never skip leg day. You got that? Don't skip legs. So the first exercise, it's a glute exercise. It's part of your legs. It's going to get your hamstrings. Get a cable attachment or the rope attachment set up to the cable. This is called a pull through right here. So you're going to grab these right here, walk out a couple steps. It's very similar to a stiff leg deadlift or a kettlebell swing. So as you can see, my knees are slightly bent. Shoulder blades are pulled back. Pull through, squeeze the glutes, tuck the t tailbone back release. So now you're getting a nice little hamstring extension, glute extension or hip extension right here. Hamstrings, glutes, a little bit of the legs in there. Nice little pull through. You can go again doing this movement is my go-to if I'm only able to use this machine right here. So that's the pull through. So second one is, is same setup. If you want to go a little heavier, that's fine. Uh, that's not a big, not a big deal. So you're going to start here, goblet squat, down, up. Very simple. I've even seen some people do, you know, instead of doing like a front squat, they go from behind right here, down, up, adjust yourself, down, up. I don't really care for that. It's not ex as comfortable as the front, but either way, that's a great alternative. So let's throw in some lunges. Go midline or uh, horizontal. Bring the arm out to the side. So what you're gonna do, definitely lighten that load first. Lateral lunge. So you're gonna start with the weight here. You're holding it up high. Again, you can, you can use one handle, you can go here, you can uh, do this single arm attachment, whatever. But here, here, back up. Here, back up. And the same can be done in reverse. So if I'm standing here, obviously you're gonna go out this way. Now watch this, if you wanna make it a little more challenging, step out. Now I'm gonna go this way. Whoop, there we go. This way's a little more challenging than the way I just showed you. So I'll show you from this way here. Hang on, here. There we go. So lateral lunge, this is the more advanced version. Beginner's version is more you starting closer and stepping out. Both are very good, very beneficial to get that lateral lunge. All right, so the fourth one, lighten the load a little bit, lower the attachment down. This is the reverse lunge or forward lunge, however you want to look at it. Get the rope attachment without hurting yourself. There we go, on the shoulders. Step forward, step back. Step forward, obviously this is a forward lunge, but if you want to start forward out more, reverse, step. Reverse, step. You pick which one you want to go with, either the forward, which is this. Okay. All right, very simple. That's their forward launch. Last one, single leg deadlift. Now this one you will want to switch out your handles to one of the D-rings or a single or a single hand strap. This one you definitely want to keep it low, which it is. 
So take a couple steps back. So my right hand has the weight or has the, the handle. Left foot is down on the floor. I'm gonna load my left leg, keep my knees slightly bent, reach out, extend that right arm, extend that right leg, pull back to upright. Right here, right there. Hamstrings, calves, glutes, adductors, quads, even your core on this one because you're going for that posterior oblique sling, which goes from the left side connecting to the right upper body. I'll show you from this angle. So right leg is down, left arm, left leg go back or forward. This one you wanna make sure your hips aren't tilted too much. Very simple. So even if you look at this thing right here, everything on here, with the exception of two exercises, is all upper body. I just showed you five exercises, a little similar to that one, but five exercises that you can use for your lower body using this machine. So again, if you're stuck at a hotel or just some place where you're, you're, you're only able to use this machine, you can get an incredible leg workout using the five exercises I just showed you. Hey, before you go, I wanna give you a free workout to use on your next leg day. It's called a five minute thigh workout. Again, it's free. All you need to do is click this box right here and give us your email and we're gonna send you this free five minute thigh workout, no strings attached. Hey, subscribe to our channel here. Here's another workout video I know you're gonna enjoy watching as well. I'm Coach Brian here with Critical Bench. We'll see you next time.